Good morning and hello, I'm Professor Cohen. and this is the Forex Supermodel Racing Review for Monday the 25th of April 2022. Look at yesterday's results then for Sunday the 24th. Um, we had a race at Weatherby on the flat 255. Unfortunately we got a non-runner on this one, we were on number 6, uh, Locomotive Breath. Um, they pulled the plug on that because of the ground uh, and you ended up with the... Uh, Four to nine odds on favourite Monta Sib winning that race. That had been off the track for I don't know nearly two years. Obviously had issues, and they've been looking at the horse. Uh, if you watch the replay, big stamp of uh, uh, seven furlong miler. So watch out for that uh, going forward. It looks uh, it looks like a a very decent horse going forward. So we'll just put that in the locker in the mental locker. Uh, to keep, a, to keep an eye out for that. Um, not that we're going to back it, but we, we've got a good mark on it now. Um, so so we didn't we got our money back because we didn't have a bet. Um, we're still at 55.20 units profit overall, uh, approximately on the account. So uh, we'll, we'll stop it there and write up today's racing. Right, we're back. We've written up today's racing then. So for Monday the 25th, we've got no filter one, which is our structural filter. We do get those occasionally. Uh, sounds like a broken record, I know, but we do. Uh, alternates then, uh, we, we've got one at Lingfield on the all weather at 135. It's a maiden Philly Stakes, class five, three to five year olds. These are all three year olds, uh, one mile four, so one and a half miles. Now, there's five in the race, and it carves up as following. Um, you've got this uh, Sassy Neary, uh, which is sort of likely to be the favourite, uh, which has got a link with Glorious Romance, number two. Uh, they ran uh, at Kempton All Weather on the 8th of the 4th, uh, 22, 1 mile 3. Um, now, Sassy Nero uh, uh, has now had two uh, two runs. Um, now, the interesting thing, if you look, if you watch the the first replay on Sassy Nero on its first race, uh, you'll see that that horse um, is, uh, is shy. Uh, it, it shies away from uh, running to the front, um, and that's not a good sign at all. Uh, and... Uh, and it's had two, uh, I believe, two um, draw one slots. It's been right up with the pace. Uh, it's had relatively easy trips, and uh, we can we can get rid of that one. Now, in the same race, uh, uh, you got this glorious romance. That was its first run, and it was held up at the back, and it was uh, just given a little bit of a, uh, sort of an educational ride. And it's now ready to go, to go. So that's one of ours, uh, glorious romance. Um, and that's um, uh, probably the second favourite. Uh, we've got a quarter of a unit, 0.25 on at uh, 1.74, uh, roughly 74 uh, odds. And that's really just our, our sort of baseline uh, result. Uh, we're going to lever off that for the other two, which we'll talk about in a minute. Now, you've got this uh, number four, Tay Sahan, or whatever you say it. It's uh, been fiddling around in France, uh, had a, uh, went back to France on the all weather. Uh, and then previous to that, it was at Wolverhampton. The, we uh, PNG on that one, probably not good enough, so we can get rid of that one. So, so we've got rid of uh, Sassy Nero and this uh, this French horse. So we're left with three. We've already said we like Glorious Romance uh, as a sort of um, as a, a, a linchpin on the bet. And the whole point about uh, uh, our approach to betting is we 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 do the analysis and then we try and reflect the bets to the analysis. Uh, and, uh, the, and, and in order to do that, you have to uh, fiddle around occasionally. Now, number five, this Ballet Bianc uh, is an FTO, first time out. Uh, breeding will suggest it has a chance. Uh, it's got a three pound claimer on it. Um, there's only four in the race, uh, five in the race, sorry. And therefore, it's a bit of a wild card on that one. We were thinking of leaving it out, but then we thought, no, it doesn't really reflect our, our analysis. It's an unknown. Uh, and we've got 33 to 1 on Sportsbook. So uh, we've got a quarter of a unit on at 33 to 1 uh, on uh, this unknown. Uh, we can't really, we don't have any information, we don't have any contacts at the stable or anything. Um, so, uh, right, so what we're left with now, this number one, Glorious Peaches. Now this is our main horse effectively, Glorious Peaches, it's number one. Uh, and it's uh, it, uh, it's had a run at Lingford on the all-weather on the 6th of the 4th, 22, 10 furlongs. 10 furlongs at Lingfield uh, going to 12, it's a very good feed. Um, 
and we've uh, we've put slightly more on this one, put 0.375 of unit on, and we've got an average of five to one. Uh, so uh, so we've sort of skewed it, if you like. So so we've uh, we've got three things going. We've got this uh, Ballet Bianc, which is an FTO, uh, uh, just as as a you know uh, 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 an extreme uh, event, uh, and we've also got this this um, this sort of benchmark course. Um, uh, glorious romance, uh, which is sort of going to get our money back or very small loss if it comes in. And the one we're really interested, uh, arguably, is this glorious peaches, uh, which we're, we've levered off and slightly put some more on. So we've got 0.875 of a unit, uh, just under a unit on overall, and we're betting against basically this sassy Nero, which we don't think uh, has uh, has a, much of a chance, and this French horse, Tanison. Uh, which is uh, we don't think is good enough. So we've that's how we've covered the bases. So uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, it's Lingfield weather, one thirty-five, and we'll spread it around like that, and uh, we'll see how we go, and we'll write it up uh, tomorrow, uh, and uh, see what else is up for grabs. Uh, there's a lot of meetings on today, uh, and that's our analysis for today. So if you subscribe, thank you very much, and uh, see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.